I have been using the Will Model M Power Wheelchair for a few months now. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and experiences. Throughout the months that I have had the opportunity to use the Will Model M Power Wheelchair, I've been posting pictures and other posts on social media. So if you are interested in looking at those, the links to my social media is down in the description below. Go down there and give me a follow or a like. So I heard about the Will Power Wheelchair on Facebook and saw that they were looking for ambassadors to try out the wheelchair. So I signed up and they chose me to try out the wheelchair. So they sent me the wheelchair and I got it on October 9th of 2017. So I have had it for about four months now. First, I'm going to give you some information about the Will Model M Power Wheelchair. Will, which is the company that makes the wheelchair, says that the Will Model M is great for indoors because of its compact size, ultra responsive controller, and its tight turning radius. They also say that it is great for outdoors because it has two motors, which gives it superior traction, and it also has innovative front omni wheels, which I'm going to talk about in a minute and it has a max speed of 5.5 miles per hour as well as a 15 mile range. Some of the features that it has are movable armrests so the armrests on each side moves back and it gets the armrests out of the way. It also has a power sliding seat feature which you can move the seat along with the backrest forward and they say that it will make it more comfortable at tables and allow for safe barrier free transfers. It does have two tail lamps or tail lights and they are both red and they're in the back. The two front wheels are their patented Omni wheels which have 24 independent rollers on each wheel so therefore there are no swiveling casters like you would see on your traditional power wheelchair or manual wheelchair. The Omni wheels are 9.8 inches in diameter and they claim that you can climb over 3 inch obstacles. They also say that the Omni wheels allow you to go through rough and loose terrain. Some of the Will Model M's performance specifications include its driving range which is 15 miles like I said earlier and its max speed is 5.5 miles per hour. It has three speed settings which is low, mid, and high so you can adjust that according to wherever you are whether you're outside or indoors. The drive system is four-wheel drive and the seat slide range is 5.9 inches and the ground clearance is 3.5 inches. The chair's max weight capacity is 220 pounds. Some of the Will Model M's dimensions include the chair weight which is 255 pounds with you out of it. Um, the chair width is 23.6 inches. Its chair length is 43 inches. Um, the front wheel diameter which is the Omni wheels like I said earlier is 9.8 inches and the rear wheel diameter is 12.5 inches and the real rear wheels are solid. They claim that the Will Model M is configured to fit you and it has some adjustability and ergonomic features. These features include seat angle, armrest angle and length, back support angle and length, and footrest angle and length. Some other specifications include its batteries, which it has two 12 volt batteries and a six amp charger. They do have some accessory options that you can get along with the chair and these options include a mouse controller or an easy grip controller, different back supports, seat belts, four point tie downs, a phone holder, flashlight, horn, and cup holder. One advantage that the Will Model M power wheelchair has compared to traditional wheelchairs is its price. It comes in at $9,999 
which may sound like a lot of money, but that is a lot less money than what my Permobil C300 cost, which insurance did pay for, but supposedly this wheelchair that I'm sitting in was over $60,000. The Wheel Model M comes in two different colors, which is white or black. Now I'm going to tell you about my thoughts and experiences that I have had using the Will Model M power wheelchair. I do have to say that the Will Model M is really compact and it doesn't look like any other wheelchair that I have seen. Um, you know, it's a really modern, sleek looking design and it just doesn't look like a wheelchair. Its controller is really sensitive, which I'm not used to because I'm used to using the joystick on my Permobil C300. It does have a really tight turning radius which is good for places indoors that you know are really tight getting in between and maneuvering around also in crowded places where you don't want to hit people. With my experience the Omni wheels are good and bad. Um, they are really cool. I like them because they do not swivel so therefore you are able to maneuver around in tight places and you don't have to worry about you know the traditional caster wheels swiveling and hitting something and not allowing you to go where you want to go however there were a couple instances where I did not like the Omni wheels which the first is in the gravel um, the Omni wheels worked great in the gravel when I went straight but if I tried to turn in loose gravel without going forward so just you know sitting still and turning like this um, it definitely didn't work out very well another instance that I had where the Omni wheels did not work is um, ledges um, whenever I turn it would kind of get caught and instead of you know just going over the ledge it would kind of bend like this and it'd catch and then all of a sudden you'd go over and then you'd smack something like uh, this doorway right here. With that being said, the Omni wheels did, however, work really well in outdoor terrain. I took the wheel up the hill that is in my front yard in front of my house and it was um, really loose dirt and it was muddy and I figured with the Omni wheels having all those rollers and space in between each roller that the dirt and mud would get all caught up in the wheel however I was really surprised that that did not happen after I got to the top of the hill or the bottom of the hill it was just as clean as before I started like I said earlier they claim that you can climb over obstacles that are three inches high but I found that I could climb over um, higher obstacles than three inches um, sometimes up to maybe five inches depending on what I was trying to go over I found that the ground clearance on the wheel was good however it was much higher than my Permobil C300 um, you know I didn't get caught on anything but I did have a problem getting under tables because the footrests were higher than my Permobil C300 so therefore my knees were higher but my knees would get caught on tables whenever I would try to go under them I did notice a difference between the Will Model M's max speed, which is 5.5 miles an hour, and my Permobil C300 max speed, which is 5.1 miles an hour. So about 0.4 or 0.5 miles per hour difference. But I did notice there was a big difference in the speed, which is really helpful on the long, um, you know, straight travels. While using the Will Model M I did not run out of battery and the chair does charge pretty quick. I do like the tail lights on the Will Model M and they are really helpful at night you know if you're outside on the road or sidewalk it really allows people to see where you're at. One thing that I really do like about the Will Model M is that it is really comfortable in my opinion. Um, the seat and backrest do not require an air pump. Um, it has this really cool feature which you just kind of unscrew 
and screw back. Um, you can adjust the air um, however you want, whether you want more air or less air. If you want more air, you just get out of it and then turn the nozzle and it'll put air in there. And if you want air out, you sit on it or put weight on it and um, turn the nozzle. A couple of things that I had problems with the Model M is that I couldn't take advantage of the sliding seat feature because the footrests were too far back and I had broke my um, left femur in my leg during my injury so my leg doesn't actually bend very much and you know using that sliding seat feature my leg wouldn't bend and it would come off the footrest. Also like I said earlier my knees were too high to get under some tables because of how high the footrest was. Another problem that I ran into was with the armrest which whenever I would transfer and use a sliding board I would put up one armrest and I'd put the sliding board under transfer but then whenever I'd go to pull the sliding board out the other way the armrest on the other side would be down and therefore I couldn't get the board out so I would have to lift that armrest up which is kind of a pain in my opinion and then I would pull the transfer board out from under me. The accessories that I had on the Will Model M were the mouse controller which basically just looks like a mouse um, I had the mid back support, a seat belt, and four point tie downs which were really easy to access um, and I could have someone hook me up in my van. Now I'm going to talk about some things that I would change about the Wheel Model M. The first thing is the charging port location which is kind of under the seat and it's really not easily accessible for um, people who are paralyzed like me so I would have to have someone else plug in the wheelchair. For instance the charging port on my Permobil C300 is right here under the joystick which you can see it right there. Another thing that I would change about the Will Model M which I did suggest this to one of the people that works for the company and he said that he put it in the notes for them to make it an option. And that option is a longer footrest or a footrest that is, you know, extended out more so that way people like me who are taller, which I'm, uh, you know, taller than six foot two, would be able to take advantage of the seat slide feature because I really like the idea of that feature. Another change that I would make is bring the seat height lower or the footrest a little lower so people like me would be able to get under tables. Another problem that I found frustrating was that the joystick was on one armrest and the speed controls and the on and off were on the other armrest whereas my Permobil C300 all the controls are on one side. And there are instances where having them on both sides is a bit advantage and having them on the same side would be an advantage but I prefer it on one side. Another thing that I would change would be the armrest. Like I said whenever I would try to transfer and remove the sliding board the armrest on the other side would be in the way so if they could make it to where that armrest wasn't in the way whenever you would use something like a sliding board I think that would be really handy. And the last thing that I would kind of change or recommend is to offer an option for push handles, not because I want someone to push me in a power chair, but because push handles are really um, useful, especially on manual wheelchairs. People will hook their arm under the push handle so that way they can lean over and grab something on the floor and they also have all kinds of other uses but I think something having something to grab or hook onto would be really useful. Alright so those are my thoughts and experiences that I've had about the Will Model M Power Wheelchair. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below. What do you think of this wheelchair? 
if you want to try it out and if you are looking to get one there will be more information as well as links to the will website where you can look at them um, online down in the description below overall I've had a really good experience with the will model M power wheelchair and I'm glad that I got the opportunity to try it out for a little while and make a video to inform you guys about my experience.